Okay, let's concentrate on uh, boxing now, and we can speak to uh, George Groves, who has today named Shane McGuigan as his uh, new trainer. George, a very good afternoon to you. Um, just explain explain the decision to to change your your trainer because it's been a difficult time of your career recently. Yeah, um, obviously I uh, lost a very close uh, world title challenge in Las Vegas, uh, away from home, of course, and. Uh, a few things just just weren't quite right, and I felt we could we could improve on a few things. So um, decided to part ways with my old trainer, and uh, now we're uh, teaming up with um, Shane McGuigan. Um, we've been training together behind closed doors for a few weeks now, and uh, I'm really enjoying it. You know, we we clicked and gel straight away. We're on the same wavelength. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm producing great work in the gym, and we're just looking forward to. Uh, to getting out there and, and, and showing the, the improvements and getting back to uh, winning ways uh, next month at the end of, end of January. Just tell us a bit more about your, your relationship then. Why, why is it clicked with Shane? You know, I, th I mean, uh, I, was, I was driving to meet him for our first meeting with uh, my, one of my promoters, Nissa Saula, and we were talking about, you know, my style of fighting, what maybe went wrong in the last fight, how we could have improved, and then before even saying any of this to Shane, we sat down and he explained exactly the same thing. So, you know, that was an inkling that uh, we're on the same wavelength. And uh, just the stuff we're producing in the gym, I'm back punching hard, which I'm enjoying. Uh, my knuckles aren't enjoying it, but everything else is. So, uh, you know, I, I think um, he's got a terrific stable of fighters. Obviously, with Carl Frampton in the gym in his big fight at the end of uh, February. You know, we've got Mr. Mr. Barry McGuigan in the gym from time to time, you know, passing on the first-hand experience of his involvement in, in huge fights. And Shane himself is a, is a very competent coach. He's a, he's a, he's, he has a presence and authority that, um, that I enjoy. That he, you know, he's a, not only um, very knowledgeable for a fellow who's only my age, but uh, you know, he's, he, he's picking up things, he's learning things, and uh, as I say, it's, it's, a, it's a great gym. Uh, and I'm enjoying every every moment in there. Uh, you mentioned at the beginning of the interview there about the, the defeat against Badu Jack, and you mentioned the fact it was well, it went the distance, it was away from home. Have you still got a, a, a bit of a feeling that it wasn't the right decision? Now the dust has settled. Yeah, well, you know, like uh, at the end of the fight, I thought I'd won. Um, that was from the instructions I was getting in the corner was that I was winning the fight really easy so I didn't actually change anything during the fight and since watching it back I know a lot of the middle rounds were a lot closer than, than I thought they were on fight night and if, uh, if I'd obviously got that information I would have changed uh, the way I was approaching the fight, the way I was fighting and uh, hopefully we've had a much clearer win. Since I got home and watched it I thought I won it by a few rounds but you know boxing on a rival promoter show, it was a, you know, it was Mayweather's undercard. Badu Jack is a Mayweather fighter; he's his first world champion. So I knew I had to do more than just win it by a few rounds. So, you know, that was that was frustrating. Um, so I'm 100% I'm confident that if I'd been given, you know, a better game plan, that uh, and and more more so than anything else, the correct information throughout the fight, that you know, I could have made it a much more one-sided win, you know, in, in my part. And I feel that. Uh, someone like Shane would be uh, would be the right man who to give me the correct information at the at the right time. You know, uh, he's proved that with with Carl Frampton. Uh, Carl's last fight wasn't as easy as uh, uh, these previous ones, but Shane stepped up to the mark, gave him the correct information at the correct time, and you know, Carl went on to have a, uh, a very comfortable win, uh, which started you know terribly. So uh, you know, he's proved himself there, and he'll prove himself. You know. Over the, uh, as, as time goes on, and uh, hopefully I, I don't get dropped no more. So you won't have to, you know, coach me over a, a bad round. But um, as I say, I'm, I'm enjoying the stuff we're doing in the gym, the information that uh, that, he's, that he's showing me, that we're doing on the pads, that we're doing on the bag, that we, you know, even just outside conditioning, new stuff. It's much more explosive, more powerful. Back to uh, what I want to be, and uh, I'm enjoying it. And just a, f a final question. Obviously, you've got your your next fight uh, at the end of uh, January against Andrea du Di Luisa, uh, the uh, the Italian. That'll be your fourth world title shot. Um, 
I mean, how difficult has it been to see your old foe in James de Gale already in situ as a, as a world champion and you're still fighting to get, to get that shot? Uh, I've got nothing but well wishes for, for James, you know. Uh, uh, he's, had, he's had some tough times himself, you know, throughout his boxing career and uh, at the moment he's, uh, he's, he's, he's winning, he's riding high. Uh, you know, I, I didn't see his last fight against Lucy on Butte, but um, the scorecard gave it to him by six rounds, but uh, a couple of people said that it was a lot, lot closer than that. So, uh, you know, as long as he's winning, I'm, I'm happy for him. And, uh, you know, I know my time will come. I ain't worried about James or fear about anything else. Uh, i just got to concentrate on myself, and that means getting back in the new year, starting on the front foot, fighting in January, get a win, build from there. You know, if I can have four three, four fights before the summer, um, should be in contention for another world title because, you know, I have the profile and uh, hopefully I'll have the performances to match and uh, that can get me in a position to, to be challenging. And uh, in the meantime, if, if James is still still doing well, maybe our paths will cross, but, uh, you know, I'm just focusing on myself and that is to get in line for a world title shot and then finally win one. George, we appreciate your time and, and good luck with all the training, especially over Christmas as well. Yeah, lovely guys. Thank you for having me on.